Welcome to the Out of the Groove Downhill Diecast Championship. In this tournament, 16 Lionel Racing Diecast cars will be put to the ultimate test at Groove City. The field has been divided into Eastern and Western Conferences. Today we'll begin with the latter, eight Western Conference racers representing five different U.S. states and two different countries will participate in their first round matchups. And then later this week, the eight Eastern Conference drivers will get their turn. All eyes are out West though. Let's take a look at our Western Conference bracket. Kyle Larson is the number one seed. He was the fastest in qualifying. He'll face off against Bubba Wallace, who was the eighth quickest out of the Western Conference. Some highly anticipated matchups though, including Kyle Busch versus Daniel Suarez. We'll begin though with Kurt Busch out of Las Vegas, Nevada. He'll go toe to toe with Alex Bowman out of Tucson, Arizona. Bowman's car may say best friends, but he and Kurt Busch are bitter rivals as they take the green here in race one. It is all Kurt Busch as he cruises across the finish line to take a 1-0 series lead in this best of five. Well, that set the tone early. Kurt Busch with a performance MJ would be proud of. Alex Bowman will try to even the series. He now has that preferred right-hand lane. He makes the pass on Kurt Busch in turn one to the line. It's a photo finish, Kurt Busch around the outside made things interesting i think bowman in the 48 held on yes by just a fender alex bowman evens the series he left that outside lane open and kurt bush used the momentum almost beat the 48 to the line there what a finish in race two Time for a crucial race three. Kurt Busch back in that preferred right hand lane. He makes the pass on Alex Bowman pulling away. Oh, and Kurt Busch has crashed in the final corner. Alex Bowman takes a 2-1 series lead, but all eyes are on the 45 of Kurt Busch who is on his side in the final turn. What could have happened? Oh, Kurt Busch hit a seam in the track. These potholes, man, you never know what to expect at a street course, especially one of the first races of the day. Some repairs to that final turn will likely need to be made. Just unfortunate there for Kurt Busch as he'll attempt to get back on all four wheels. The crowd gives him a nice standing ovation and we'll move on to race four. Alex Bowman could end the series right here. He's in the preferred lane, but Kurt Busch has the early advantage. Bowman makes the pass. Kurt Busch trying to rally to the inside. It's Kurt Busch at the line by less than half a car length, our second photo finish. This time, Kurt Busch uses the left-hand lane, thank you very much, and noses out in front of the 48. Backed against the wall, facing elimination, Kurt Busch bounces back from that unfortunate race three to take home the victory in race four and force a decisive race five. Wow, it doesn't get much closer than that. What a battle between these two competitors. Race five, winner take all. Kurt Busch in the preferred lane gets a huge jump. Does Bowman have anything for him? No, he does not. Kurt Busch bounces back from a disappointing race three to win the series and advance to the Western Conference semifinal round. An impressive effort from Alex Bowman going door to door with Kurt Busch, but he didn't have the speed to match the 45 in that final race. Kurt Busch sends Alex Bowman home early. He'll face the winner of Kyle Busch versus Daniel Suarez coming up later. Our next matchup features California's Kyle Larson versus Mobile, Alabama's Bubba Wallace. We've eagerly anticipated this matchup. Race one is green. Kyle Larson pulling away from Bubba Wallace. He'll hold the lead around the final turn. Kyle Larson wins race one in convincing fashion. Larson was the fastest in qualifying. Bubba Wallace had trouble finding consistent speed in his 23. Perhaps Bubba Wallace can make some magic happen from that inside lane. Green flag is out, but Larson is pulling away. Kyle Larson looks to take a commanding 2-0 series lead and he will do just that. Both cars were pretty even down the back straight away until they got into that braking zone. You can see the five pulling away, clearly handling quite a bit better than the 23 is at this point. Bubba Wallace gonna do everything he can to avoid elimination. Kyle Larson from that preferred inside groove though is pulling away and California's Kyle Larson will complete the sweep. 
Kyle Larson is moving on to the Western Conference semifinals. One of our most eagerly anticipated matchups is over about as quickly as it started. Very dominant performance from Kyle Larson, our top seed. Next up, Kyle Busch will go up against Monterrey, Mexico's Daniel Suarez. Winner will advance to face Kurt Busch in the second round. Green flag is out. Kyle Busch with the early lead. And around goes the 18 and the 99, both now sliding backwards across the finish. Kyle Busch uh, wins a uh, little backwards bump drafting, the two moonwalking across the finish line, but Kyle Busch will get credited with the victory. What happened here? Kyle Busch is already out of control before they even get to the final turn. Meanwhile, Suarez seemed to break loose in the center. Maybe, maybe he locked up the brakes trying to avoid the 18. Not sure, but either way, only in die cast racing do you see a finish quite like this one. Kyle Busch up 1-0, can Daniel Suarez even it up? Now Daniel Suarez will be in the preferred inside lane, green flag is out, Suarez has the lead, Kyle Busch sliding down the front straightaway is unable to catch the 99, Daniel Suarez gets the win, but watch the 18 here, he was breaking loose all the way down this front stretch, oh look at that drift, left, right, it was unable to catch the 99, Daniel Suarez evens the series. Race three, Kyle Busch down low, Daniel Suarez up top. They are door to door down the drop. Suarez to the high side, makes the pass on Kyle Busch and wins race three. What a move by the track house racing driver. Kyle Busch got a little squirrely on entry there and Daniel Suarez ripped the top beautifully to make a clean pass for the win. Suarez now has a 2-1 series lead. Kyle Busch looking to avoid elimination. Suarez in that inside lane draws up even with Busch, but Kyle Busch down the hill is able to hold off the 99 and force a race five. Great performance out of Kyle Busch, the veteran driver when the money is on the line, when the pressure is at its peak, he rises to the occasion. He'll have to do it one more time though. Race five, Kyle Busch on the inside, Suarez up high. They are side by side, door to door, across the line. Kyle Busch by a fender will move on to the second round. I don't believe what I just saw. It's rare that you see two cars side by side for an entire lap in downhill die cast racing. Kyle Busch by that much gets it done. Even in the open track, they were bouncing off each other, leaning on each other's side door. It's Kyle Busch, the wild thing, who gets the series victory. Wow. That matchup was an instant classic. Unfortunately, only one can advance, and it's Kyle Busch who will get to face his brother, Kurt Busch, in next week's matchup. Our final series of the day sees Norman, Oklahoma's Christopher Bell take on Kevin Harvick out of Bakersfield, California. Should be a great matchup. Race one is set to go green. Kevin Harvick takes the early lead, pulling away. Ooh, maybe a little contact with the outside wall, but it's Kevin Harvick who holds on to win race one. Let's see that again. Oh no, it wasn't the wall. He got into those bushes there on the side of the freeway. In fact, Kevin Harvick was actually two wheels off course, out of control, a lot of speed in that four. Race two, Christopher Bell now leading that inside line, green flag is out, Harvick still side by side, tries to use the inside, now he spins across the line. It's Kevin Harvick though with the victory, he goes up 2-0, he and Christopher Bell sliding across the finish. You don't see that every day. Harvick with a great move to get to the inside of Bell and then moves up, maybe thought he was clear, instead ends up turned into the outside wall, but gets pushed across the line for the win. He'll take it. Time for race three. Bell looking to avoid being swept. He gets a huge launch here out of the outside, but Harvick battles back side by side. Bell pulls away there in the home stretch. Got to see what happened there. Bell avoids elimination. Maybe Harvick got into the outside wall. We'll have to see that maybe from a different angle. Harvick and Christopher Bell side by side right there. Yeah, can't tell if Bell maybe forced Harvick up into the fence. Either way, got to do what you got to do to avoid elimination. Time for race number four. Christopher Bell on the inside, but Harvick gets away on the start. Side by side down the drop, it's Kevin Harvick, the closer, who seals the deal and advances past the first round. 
Christopher Bell pulled out just about every trick in the book, but it wasn't enough to stop Happy Harvick from moving on to the Western Conference semis, where he'll face off against Kyle Larson in next week's matchup. So that'll do it for the Western Conference first round. Next up, we'll see the Eastern Conference take to the track for the first time. That'll be in the next video. Chase Elliott, Ross Chastain, and more. We'll get to see Groove City for the very first time. Thank you for watching the Western Conference first round of the Out of the Groove Downhill Diecast Championship. We'll see you here next time.